talking about the iPhone's greatest competitor. No, it is not Samsung, it is not OnePlus, it is not Google or Huawei, someone else. Apple's greatest competitor has been working in the background. Under your nose, you wouldn't think of them. It's not anyone you might think. It's not really a company per se. The new iPhone's greatest competitor is the used iPhone market. That's right, the biggest threat to people buying the new iPhone is people buying old used iPhone or just new in the box iPhones from eBay for cheaper. According to Fox Business, the iPhone 7 is the most popular phone of 2019 and 2020. Apple's biggest threat is people deciding they don't want to upgrade or they don't want to upgrade to the latest phone. The used market, the third party market of iPhones out there and people not buying iPhones directly from Apple, that is who they're competing the most with. They kind of consider the whole iOS versus Android thing kind of a lost cause because people have their preferences and they're never really going to change. But they don't want people going out and figuring out that they can buy cheaper iPhones from some other source that isn't them. Apple makes their phones to last much longer than Android. iPhones are supported by iOS a whole lot longer than Android phones. That's part of what makes them so appealing, that they last a while. Samsung promises three years of Android support with the newest Samsung Galaxy phones. That's about half of what iPhones get. An iPhone XS that came out at $1,000, it can now be bought from eBay for about $500, will update more into the future than a $1,500 Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So I, I mentioned you can buy a iPhone XS for about $500. So why would I spend twice that for the newest iPhone from Apple if it's gonna last probably as long as I'm gonna keep it? See what I'm saying? So you may be asking, what is Apple doing to combat this? Number one, services. Apple keeps coming out with new services like Apple Fitness Plus and Apple One, the bundle for all the services, because they know that if you subscribe to Apple Music and pay $14 a month for your family or $100 a year for yourself, it doesn't matter what iPhone you have, it just matters that you have an iPhone. So that kind of makes it more okay for them if you buy a used iPhone rather than an iPhone from them. Also, they're selling the most popular iPhone from 2018 and the most popular iPhone from 2019. And now they have the SE, which is based on the 8. If they can get an iPhone into your hand for cheaper, you're less likely to look to eBay or Mercari or any of those other Swappa, any of those other websites. Also, certain perks come with buying an iPhone from Apple. You have Apple Care is available to you. You get a one year warranty on anything you buy from Apple. There's a 14 day return policy that is 100% money back, no questions asked. And there's the guaranteed quality that you don't get when buying used from some website like eBay or Mercari or buying it open box or whatever from some storage center in another country, you know that there's quality guaranteed when you buy directly from Apple. On top of this, the iPhone SE came out just earlier this year. It's basically the chips of the iPhone 11, high-end iPhone from last year, in a cheaper form factor with Touch ID for the people that don't like Face ID. So. The iPhone SE is a really cheap option for an iPhone that keeps you buying from Apple. On top of this, the iPhone 12 mini is the phone for all the people that are still on the iPhone SE first generation because they don't like larger phones. It's a little bit bigger than the first generation iPhone SE, but I guess that can ease people into getting larger phones. So I know some people that are still on the iPhone SE 2016 version because they don't want larger phones, but they're obviously dealing with battery issues. This is a great time to upgrade. They're getting a new iPhone from this year to replace their four, 10 year old iPhone. So now this year is the year to upgrade for the people who like smaller iPhones. And finally, every iPhone that came out at the last event has an OLED display. So you could buy the $500 iPhone XS from eBay from two years ago, or you could pay $100, get this year's phone, still has OLED, still has two cameras. I'd probably say that the iPhone 12 mini versus iPhone XS you should go with the mini because it's newer, 
and in a lot of ways better than the 10s. And also, you get the perks that I mentioned earlier from buying directly from Apple. That is why I believe that the new iPhone's greatest competition is used iPhones. But I also told you what Apple is doing to combat this issue and also to continually make money even if people are not buying the newest iPhone. So rather than getting a 10R from eBay for $400, you can pay $500 from Apple, get it brand new, and you get all those perks that come with buying directly from Apple. So that's about all I have for you this week. I bought the iPhone 12, 6.1 inch one, and the MagSafe charger, the MagSafe case for it. So that iPhone should be coming on Friday of this week. Expect an unboxing video that day or Saturday. I'll see you next Monday. Later.